Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be cleaning, decluttering, and organizing our kitchen. And I've been wanting to do this for several weeks now and finally got it all done. So I'm super excited to share the results with you guys. Now before I can even start organizing, I want to go ahead and get the kitchen cleaned first because it is a huge disaster right now. And then we will start pulling out some things to get organized and actually that ended up being the next day because I was waiting on a few more things to come in from Amazon before I could get started. Now while I'm cleaning, I love to listen to audiobooks on Audible. It just helps pass the time. I also listen to books while I'm working out and even while I'm driving just because I'm so obsessed. And I've actually listened to like six books over the last couple of months because I've just been flying through them. And here you can see on this day, I was listening to the audiobook called Then She Was Gone and it was so good. I highly recommend it. I even just did a video over on my Team Darley channel and I just reviewed six of the last books that I listened to on Audible. So if y'all want to get a whole list of books that I recommend, definitely go check out that video. I'll leave a link in the description box to that video. If you've never tried Audible before, I highly recommend that you check them out. They have tons and tons of audiobooks, thousands of audiobooks to choose from. And then they also have podcasts, they have Audible Originals, and so much more. And if you are an Audible member, you get one audiobook a month, and then you also get two Audible Originals each month. But for right now, while there's so many people in quarantine or just staying at home, Audible is actually giving their members access to all of the Audible originals each month instead of just two. Another cool thing that Audible has going on right now while lots of people are at home is they started stories.audible.com where there's hundreds of free titles to choose from and most of them are actually family friendly titles that you can listen to with your kids. So if you visit stories.audible.com, it's actually free. You can use your computer, your tablet, or your smartphone, and they actually are ad-free as well. Now, if you want to try out Audible, use my link. I'm going to put it here on the screen, and I'll also put it down in the description box. And it's just www.audible.com slash Darlie, or you can text Darlie to 500, 500 and you can actually get your first book from Audible for free. And also don't forget to go check out that video where I talked about the last six books that I listened to on Audible. So that way you can see what I've listened to, what I recommend. And if you guys have any recommendations, I know you always have really good recommendations for me. So leave those down in the comments and that way we can all share some books that we've loved. And thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video. It is so much fun to get to work with a brand that I have been using for years and have loved so much. I actually have been a, an Audible member since way before I started my YouTube channel. So it's so much fun that I get to partner with them on today's video. You know that I'm a keep it cold. With you I feel a breaking rules. On the edge looking now with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around.
so it is the next day and my kitchen is still clean which is actually a miracle <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the inside of my cabinets and drawers look like for the before and then we're gonna get to cleaning so in this cabinet here you can see we have lots of spices and sauces and things like that along with pots and pans Then here, if you're going to the left of that cabinet, this is the top drawer and I've got just lots of kitchen tools and cutters and things like that. And then going down to the next drawer, we have lots of trash bags, Ziplocs, aluminum foil. We also have our little chopper there, some extra seasonings because I couldn't fit them up in our cabinet. And then here in this bottom drawer, we also have some more miscellaneous stuff and those little green things are like the bag holders for when we're doing freezer meals. This is what our dishes cabinet looks like. And then these are some more of our baking utensils, cooking utensils. Right next to that drawer is all of our regular everyday utensils. Now here in this bottom cabinet, we have our rice cooker, our crock pot, and then some other like little cooking pans. Now this cabinet, we have all of the kids' plates and bowls, and then I have a bunch of my shakes and protein bars, and I'm not really gonna touch this one today because I'm gonna move all the protein bars and all that kind of stuff when I mess with the pantry. And then this is the two Lazy Susans that we have in these cabinets, and so that'll definitely have to be fixed because it's a mess down there. And then this cabinet is full of all kinds of random kitchen appliances and cutting boards and things that need to be moved around as well. And then this drawer is actually gonna not really change much except I am gonna take those disposable utensils and put them somewhere else. This is our circle water bottle um, cartridge drawer. Then we have our coffee drawer and then the last one is our cup tops. Now this bottom drawer here, we have lots of paper plates and napkins and more water bottles and more Tupperware and things like that in here. And then in this last cabinet right here that we're gonna look at today is our cup cabinet. And I actually didn't end up doing anything to this. I probably should go back and do that, but I didn't mess with this one today. So the first thing that I'm doing is starting from left to right and I'm gonna pull out as much stuff as I can fit on these countertops and start going through and decluttering and moving some things around because I had a lot of things in different spaces in my kitchen that just did not make sense and just did not work in the areas that they were already in. Now, as I'm going through and clearing out all the cabinets, I'm also wiping them down with a multi-surface spray while they're empty, so that way I can get some of the crumbs, and honestly, we have a little bit of dog hair in these cabinets as well, so I'm gonna do that. You're gonna see me do that in several cabinets, and then I'm gonna pull out some things in the drawers and clean those out as well. Now at this point, I have all of the bottom cabinets on the left side of the kitchen cleaned out and I'm starting to go around the room and put like items together. So I'm putting all the Tupperware in one place in the kitchen. I'm putting all of the kitchen cooking tools in one part of the kitchen, pans together, all that kind of stuff. So that way when I go back to put them into the spaces that I'm moving them to, then I can organize them in a way that makes sense and make sure that they all fit there. 
Now in this video, I also didn't touch the drawers that are in our kitchen island and that top drawer is our junk drawer, which is not too, too bad, but I could organize it. And then the second drawer is our towel, our kitchen towel drawer. It's pretty organized right now. And then the bottom drawer is where we keep all of our electronics, like our iPads and chargers and things like that. And I can definitely go through and organize that, but I just didn't mess with that today because it took me such a long time and I mainly wanted to get all of our kitchen gadgets and things organized to where they were actually in a space that made sense for us in the kitchen. Now, if you remember the before, this is where the pots and pans were. This is the cabinet that's right below our microwave. And I just didn't like how they were organized there. It was always such a pain to get them in and out. So I'm moving them over to the cabinet that's right beside the stove. Now I was so excited because I got a few items in from Amazon and this was the first item that I got. I will link all the stuff that I organized with too down in the description box in case you want to check out any of these items for yourself. But the first item that I used was this little pots and pan holder and I had to turn it sideways just because it was too tall for that shelf back there which I could have moved the shelf but I wanted to use it so I decided just to put it in the bottom like this. And then as you can see, I have this little rack up here at the top, which actually came from the Dollar Tree. And I just used that to put my pot lids on. Now, since we've organized the pots and pans like this, they have been so much easier to get in and out. We do have to bend over quite a bit, but I definitely think it's a lot better right here the way that we have it organized now. Now we're gonna reorganize this little cabinet. This was the before, so it had lots of paper plates and Tupperware and water bottles. And I'm gonna actually keep all that stuff in there, but I'm gonna reorganize it to where it fits in there better. And then I'm also gonna move the other Tupperware pieces that happen to be in other cabinets over here so that all of the Tupperware is in one place. With you tonight, tonight. So just sit with me. Talking to the night into the morning, building camp mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. Now here you'll see all of our smaller Tupperware pieces are right here in this one basket. So it's pretty easy to just pull the basket out, find the Tupperware piece that we want, and then put it back up. So that's working pretty well too. And I don't know if you guys noticed from my cabinets, but I think we might have a water bottle problem as well as a cup hoarding problem. But we did end up getting rid of some of the water bottles that we never use and just keeping the ones that we always pull out. Um, but it's really hard for me to get rid of water bottles. We are constantly in and out of the car, going on the boat, going to baseball, to tumbling, all those different things. So I feel like we're always using the different water bottles. Now this is the before of the next cabinet that we're gonna organize and it was obviously just a bunch of stuff thrown into one cabinet. So what we're gonna do in this cabinet is put all of our little kitchen appliances. So we have our air fryer, rice cooker, our crock pot, um, our toaster oven, and our blender. And then also I ended up putting some little roasting pans in there and then our cutting boards. Next to me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be.
The next cabinet that we're organizing is the corner cabinet with the two Lazy Susans and I decided to keep all of the same kind of stuff in here. We did get rid of a few items out of here, but we're basically going to put in here our, our mixing bowls, colanders, and our baking dishes. And I know that it's kind of hard to see where I'm putting everything at this angle, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna go through and show you all of the spaces again and how they ended up turning out when they got organized. Now we're moving on to the drawers and not every single drawer needed to be reorganized, but this one definitely did. I ended up taking the cartridges and turning them a different way so that more fit in these little um, drawer organizers that I got from Dollar Tree a while back and I also had some more cartridges that needed to go in the drawer so this fit a lot better and now you can see all of the cartridges and the kids will be able to pick one out when their other one runs out. Now in the next drawer over, I ended up taking out all of the disposable utensils and putting those with the other ones. And then I got these reusable washcloths off of Amazon. And so you're supposed to be able to just wet them, use them, and then wash them either in your dishwasher or in your washing machine and then use them again and again. This drawer was really easy to organize. I ended up just taking out a lot of these kitchen utensils and putting them in our utensil holder that's up on top of the countertop and then just leaving a few in here in the drawer. Now these utensils I actually got in a set off of Amazon a while back and shared them with y'all. And I don't know why some of them look like they have tarnished and then others are fine. So if you guys have a solution for that, let me know down in the comments. Now we're moving on to the drawers over on the right side of the stove and these were some of my favorite drawers to organize in this video. I love the way that they ended up turning out because as you can see in the before, they are all three. Well, I guess the bottom one's not too bad, but the other two are definitely a hot mess and needed to be reorganized and just were driving me nuts. So I ended up getting a few different things off of Amazon that I think you guys are gonna love. The first piece that I got off of Amazon for these drawers is this expandable utensil holder and it worked so perfectly in this drawer. I had so many things that I was able to organize in here and I tried to do all of the smaller utensils that would actually fit in here as well as like our can opener, our pizza cutter, and our avocado slicer and then also like our fruit slicer. And then on the right side of this drawer, I ended up putting a lot of our grilling utensils as well as our like skewers and stuff like that that we use out there. Okay, so think about that before picture and now the after. It is so much better, so much more organized and definitely keeping me a lot more sane these days. Now in the next drawer, I found these little drawer dividers and you can actually adjust them to the size of the drawer and just make sure that you get the right size because I accidentally bought one that was too short the first time. But I'm using these in here so that way things don't slide around as much and it also kind of gives you a little defined space to organize different types of items. So in this drawer, we ended up keeping our trash bags and also our Ziploc bags, but we decided to move all of our aluminum foil and parchment paper and cling wrap into the cabinets to the right with some of our pantry stuff. But I'm gonna actually do a whole video on all of that because all of that needs to be reorganized too. I just did not have time to do it for this video. But in this drawer, we're also gonna keep some of our bigger kitchen cooking utensils that would not fit up in the top drawers and then we've got our little chopper and then I found these on Amazon they're actually little um, pot and pan tri trivets is that how you say the word trivets I don't know but when your pots and pans are still hot you can actually just put these you open up the little leg things and they sit right on your countertop and then you put your pots and pans on top of it and it doesn't mess up your countertops also, while I was doing this drawer, I moved things around a lot before I got them the way that I wanted them. And I actually ended up putting our 
little disposable utensils and paper bags over there with the Ziplocs because I thought that was the perfect little place if I was actually packing them lunches or something. And so now we're moving to the bottom drawer. It's already mostly been cleared out and I'm gonna move things around a good bit in this drawer as well before they get to where I want it. Now another thing that I picked up recently were these little drawer organizers. I had a couple of these gray ones and then also in the last drawer that you just saw me organize with, there were some blue ones that are a little bit skinnier. And I actually found them at Walmart and they were the Mainstays brand. So they're super cheap and they do re work really, really good for organizing the inside of your drawers. Now I also wanted to show you guys, I have these little condiment containers that are from the Dollar Tree. And then this little drawer organizer is another one of those small ones from the Mainstays Walmart brand. And I ended up moving those back up to this middle drawer where I can have it with all of the lunch packing products. All right, so that was the last drawer that I'm gonna organize for this video. I will go through and organize some other spaces in the kitchen later on in other videos, but I'm gonna go back through the kitchen really quick and kind of show you all of the after shots of what the drawers and cabinets look like now that they are organized. And like I said earlier in the video, I did not touch a lot of these cabinets and y'all will have to let me know, do you think I need to declutter this cabinet? I swear, I declutter cups all the time, but I still end up having a ton. And then this is our medicine cabinet. I feel like it's pretty organized right now. Um, so I'm not gonna mess with that one. And like I said about this one, I will come back to this one when we do the pantry so I can move all of my protein bars and shakes and stuff out of here. And then this next cabinet, I don't think I needed to do anything with this one. It is working out perfectly for us. Now let me show you what our pantry stuff looks like. So this is the cabinet that's to the right of our stove and above and the top. I'm definitely gonna be moving a bunch of that stuff around. I'm definitely gonna be moving a bunch of this stuff around. We moved some of our serving dishes in here and then our pans are still in here just because they fit in here nicely. And then I'm gonna show you what our pantry looks like so you guys can kind of get an idea of how it looks right now. We will definitely be doing a pantry organization video soon. It's not too, too bad, but I definitely wanna get in here and reorganize some things. So y'all let me know if you're interested in seeing that video. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to use my link to try out Audible. I have it right here on the screen. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.